Right, mister, this is kind of cool. It is, yeah, very You've fun. got a fresh cut, I can see. Yeah, uh, fresh yesterday, actually. I mean, I've had this do for a couple of months now. I had it for a movie, actually, I shot in July, playing a punk bass guitarist. So it was a bit sort of more extreme when, I, when it first got. But I like it. It's what are we of... calling it? I mean, it's is it the typical, um, oh, what's it called again? I can't remember. Mohawk. Mohawk. Yeah, that's, I'd call it a mohawk. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's got a bit shorter now. But, <laughs> so yeah. we're here right now with the most incredible film. The poster looks amazing. What was it? What was your reaction when you heard that Mr. Tim Burton wanted you in his film? Um, I didn't really believe it, honestly. I've been wanting to work with Tim for years, like years and years. Whenever I was asked, like, what director you want to work with, I'd say Tim. Because I've loved his movies. I love his his approach to filmmaking, his style, which is so kind of um, recognizable. And just reading the script and reading the book, he is the perfect director to, to sell this story and to tell it. And uh, yeah, unbelievable. Tell me about his house. What was it like when you went there? Tim's house. Well, I went to his, um, his offices, which were in, I can't remember where they were, but it was when I first met him. And uh, you walk in, it's all very grand. It sort of looks a bit like something out of the Tim Burton set, actually. And he's got this huge, like, statue of, um, of Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas and various different props and stuff. And you, you, you do feel like you just stepped into one of his worlds. Do you feel like you're living the dream right now? Because it's been non-stop for you for quite a few years now, hasn't it? It's been pretty busy. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy, uh, enjoy doing this and kind of having the work there. But I do enjoy... So what you get with acting is you do get a lot of free time and you get a lot of time to do other things and explore other interests. So, uh, yeah, whenever I'm not working, I'm either chilling out or finding something else to tickle my fancy. Try and be, try and be young and do some fun things. Because obviously you are a child star, aren't you? How do you get with all that pressure? Um, I don't really think of it like that. I guess that's how you just kind of go along with it. It's, um, it's all pretty normal for me now. Uh, the whole acting thing, the acting world, is very separate from when I'm just at home, just hanging out with my friends. Keeps me grounded. I like it. I like it. So what's the dream? What part do you really want to play? What part do I want to play? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really... I don't really search for roles in particular, I think. Um, I mean, I've read a lot of just interesting stories, like original scripts, which, uh, which are great. Um, yeah, I can't think of something. Well, really there was talk do. earlier about the youngest James Bond ever. What are you saying about that? You got competition over here. <laughs> <laughs> youngest James Bond ever. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think we both we both got about. Uh, I I used to say James Bond. That was my old answer. But <laughs> Batman. I'm not gruff enough for Batman. <laughs> Off you pop, Affleck. I'm I'm in. I'll be Robin, but anyway, yeah, you could be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy going into the Marvel world or DC, something like that? Um, maybe. DC, uh, when I read the comics, DC were always my favourite. Um, maybe. Okay. That would be cool. Tom Holland, eh? <laughs>